Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly way you can design a website for your jewelry business. I'll be showing you how to make a minimal website style and layout, how to add products and collections to your Shopify store, and I'll also be giving you a few bonus tips for how to create a more advanced style website for your jewelry business in case you want to add a few more sections to your store. You can also follow this video whether you sell jewelry, clothing items, makeup products, and more. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. To get started, you'll first want to open Shopify. You're going to open your themes page. And here is where you can go in and customize your currently published theme. Or you can also choose to install one of Shopify's free website themes. And first off, I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly way you can lay out your website. And I'll show you a few different quick sections you can add to your homepage to help welcome your visitors and display your products. And after that, I'll be showing you how you can customize the sections and how you can add your products and collections. When you click on this announcement bar, this is where you can add your announcement text. You can announce any shipping announcements, discounts you're running, and you can also choose to link the announcement text to another page within your website. For a minimal look, you can choose to remove the announcement bar. I'm going to click on the header, and here you have a few different editing options for this section. And you can also choose a different display for your menu links. I'll be setting this to drawer, and that's going to hide away the menu bar. When your visitors click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. Then when they click contact, this will take them to your contact page. Here on the homepage, there is currently an image banner. I'll be replacing this section. Under that section, I'm gonna click add section to template. Then I'm gonna insert an image with text. I'm gonna scroll up and I'll be removing this image banner. This will be the featured image and title for the homepage of your website. And here's how this section appears on mobile. Under desktop image placement is where you can reposition the image. Then right below that section, I'll be inserting a featured collection. Here you can choose to feature one of your product collections. I'll be showing you later on in detail how to create a product collection and how to feature it. Next, I'll be setting the color scheme for this website. So I'm gonna click theme settings, then colors. I'm gonna open color scheme one. And here is where you can set your color palette. You can also play around with the other different color schemes. Here in theme settings, I'm also going to click logo, and here is where you can upload your brand's logo and your favicon image. And under desktop logo width is where you can reduce or increase the size of the display of the logo. And that is a beginner friendly way that you can lay out the homepage of your website. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize these sections and how to add products and collections to your store. If you are looking to create a more advanced style website with maybe a couple more sections, here's an example of a website I designed. For a few tips, you can choose to include a collection list. This is a section to feature each of your product collections. You can include a video section, an email sign up if you'd like to encourage your visitors to join your email list. You can also add an FAQ section and even a featured social media banner section to help promote your brand's social media. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in my description box below, along with where you can shop my other Shopify themes. All right, and next I'll be showing you how to customize these sections of your homepage. I'm going to click on the image with text. And here under image is where you can upload a product photo or one of your brand photos. You have the option to edit the image height, so you can choose to make this image smaller or larger. Then you can edit the desktop image width. Then here is where you can edit the overall content, which can include the text and the button label. You can recenter the desktop content alignment. And you can also choose to apply an overlap for this content section. And then I'm gonna click on the heading text. And here is where you can type in your title heading. And you'll have a few different editing options for this text. You can choose to put it in bold, italic, and you can also insert a link leading to another page within your website. Under heading size is where you can choose to make this text larger or smaller. I'll be setting the heading size to medium. When you click on this text box, you can choose to write a mini description or tagline text of either your business or whichever product collection you're featuring. 
And you'll also have some text editing options for this text. You can adjust the heading sizing. You can also edit the text style. And if you need to, you can make a bullet list or a numbered list for your text. I'm going to click on the button label. And here you can choose to edit the button label text. Under button link is where you can select which page you would like to link the button label to. I'm going to link this to the all collections page. And this way when your website visitors click on the button label, it will take them to your all collections page. And next for this featured collection, I'll be showing you how to create a product, how to create a product collection, and how to feature it here on your homepage. Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. All right, so here on Shopify, to create a new product, you're gonna click products, then you're gonna click add product. This is going to be the product page where you can insert all of your product information, including your title, description, and you'll be able to insert your pictures and videos, and set a few other settings for the item. You'll want to start by inserting your product title, then under description is where you can add your product description text, and you'll also be able to insert pictures and videos throughout the description if you would like. You'll have a few different text editing options for the description. So you can choose to increase the size of the text. You can also choose to put the text in bold, italic. You can underline the text. And here you'll be able to change the text colors and the background text colors. If you need to, you can select specific text. And you can select a link leading to another page in your store or leading to an external link. Under media is where you can insert your pictures and videos that you have of your product. Then here under category is where you can select the category niche of your product. I'll be setting the item's price. And you can also set the compare at price, which can represent if other sellers are selling this item for more than you're selling it for. And you can type in your cost per item, which can help to calculate your profit and your margin. I'll be typing in an example number of stock available for this product. Then you can also type in the weight of the item. If you have different product variants, like different sizes available or different colors available, under variants is where you can add those sizes and those colors. Then once you're done under available is where you can type in how much inventory you have for each of those variants. And here under product organization, is where you can type in your product type. You can list yourself as a vendor or list the vendor of the product, and you can insert your product tags. Your tags may help customers to find this specific product when they're searching for it using the search bar on your website. And that's a beginner-friendly way you can add a product to your Shopify store. And here under status, you'll want to make sure this product is set to active. This way it will appear in your online store. You're going to save your product, then here under products, I'm going to click collections. And this is where you can create a product collection. I'm going to title the collection. When you click browse, this is where you'll be able to select the specific products you would like to add to this collection. And that's how you can add a product to the collection. Next, I'm going to open the website and I'm going to click on the featured collection. When you click select collection, here you can choose which collection you would like to feature. And here's also an example of how the product page appears. And that is a beginner friendly way you can design your website. When you click these three dots, then click view. This is where you can view a full screen version of your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.